Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be reviewing my Kelty Tumbler 5070 sleeping bag. Please click like and subscribe to join my hiking family. The 5070 gets its name from the fact that it's a dual temperature sleeping bag. It's meant to be used in 50 or 70 degree temperatures. On the 50 degree side, it is padded and insulated like your typical sleeping bag. You flip it over and the 70 degree side is a heavy sheet. On the nights where I use the 70 degree side, the 50 degree side of the bag makes for a good cushion underneath me, especially when paired with a sleeping pad. It's a very comfortable sleeping bag. I bought it for my very first section hike of the AT. At night it was getting down into the 30s, sometimes near freezing, and I did okay. I slept inside this with a pair of long johns with the 50 degree side up and I was quite comfortable. The only time I noticed the cold is when I rolled over and I'm one of those people that when I roll over my sleeping bag goes with me. I don't manage to be able to move around inside the bag. So when I rolled over, now the 70 degree side was exposed to the chilled air and where my long, my long john top met the long john bottoms, my back was exposed. So it woke me up. So I was aware of it that way. Now like I said with the Outdoor Vitals sleeping bag, I would never recommend you intentionally exceed the manufacturer's specifications for temperature. But I was comfortable in this bag in the 30s. So far I've slept in it from the 30s up to the 70s and it is a very good all-around bag. It is lightweight, it fits well into the pack, it comes in its own stuff sack. So it's a good choice. It's cost effective and I just I can't say enough good things about it. However, in the 30s I do carry my Outdoor Vitals bag because I do like to be able to sleep through the night without being woken up by the cold. So there you have it. The Kelty Tumbler 5070 sleeping bag. This is a great all-around bag that I use more than I use any other. If you have a bag you'd like me to test out, or you have any other questions or comments, please leave a comment below, or send me an email at trailnameace at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to visit trailnameace.com to find links to products I've reviewed. Thanks for watching, and keep hiking!